hello guys welcome back to my my youtube channel so today we shall going to learn about uh, a very interesting sql question and uh, is normally asked in most of the sql interview questions so the question is about the number of records that you'll be given uh, two two tables and you'll be asked to 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 write the number of records that will be displayed after running this type of type of joins so you'll be asked to write the number of records that will be displayed after applying in a join among these two tables will also be asked to write the number of records that will be displayed after doing the full outer join after doing the left outer join after doing the right outer join and then you'll also be asked to display the number of records after running the cross cross join so we've got two tables that is a student table and the exam score so let's try to run this so these, these are two tables our student table and our uh, exam score table so you'll be asked to find the number of records that will be displayed after let's say applying the inner join so inner join what it will normally do is it will only fetch the matching records from the from the opposite table you've mentioned so in a join will will um, take will count only the number of records that is matching so one of, for example 101 row how many rows does it match with in the right table so 101 row in the left table how many does it match with number of rows in the right table so 101 it matches with two rows in the right table so you write two and then you add and then you'll come to this row this row also how many number of rows will it match in the right table so 102 it will it doesn't match with any row so you can simply write zero and then you add 103 how many rows does it match in the right table it matches with only one and then you write you write one and then you come to 104 it doesn't match with anything in the right in the right table so you write zero and then you come to 104 105 how many does it match with the with the right table it doesn't match with any so write zero so if you add this you're going to get three number of records so if you write the sql queries if you write the sql query if you join the two tables using the inner join we expect it to, to display three number of records so let's try it so let's execute so we've uh, joined the two tables the student score and the, i mean the students and the exam score the two table we've used inner join to to join them and then we ex so we expect three number of records to be to, to be displayed so if you execute this one we can see only three number of records has been displayed so i think uh, that one is clear now let's move to another concept of inner join of uh, left join so in left join it's uh, it's something else so in left join is normally perform the inner join and then so let me run this original tables so in in left join is normally perform the the inner join and then it will add any additional records from the left table which is not present in the right table so it will perform the inner join so all right so inner join is the matching rows in both two tables so we have 101 
it matches with how many number of records in the right it matches with two one two right two and then you add another arrows that is matching in both left and right is 103 so 103 it matches with the right table how many number one one row so so we've performed the inner join and then we will add the additional number of records that are not matching with so for for our left table the the rows that are not matching with the right table are 102 104 and row 105 because 101 and 103 they are matching with with the right table in there in the i mean in the right table they are matching with the rows in the right table so we have 102 104 and 104 so those are three number of records so we write three and if you add this one is six six so if you if we perform the left join we expect six records to be displayed so let's execute so for this case we are using left join so if you write so we've um joined the two tables using left join so we expect it to display six number of records yeah so you can see it, it has displayed six number of records or six number of rows also let's proceed to the next concept i think the left join concept is clear now let's proceed to the right so right is basically the opposite of the left so what normally right join will do is that what right join will do is that um it will perform the inner join and then it will pick the number of rows that are not matching with with the left table the number of rows in right table that are not matching with with the left so let's perform the inner join so inner join the number of the, the rows that are matching in both two tables are 101 and 1 103 so 101 it matches with how many rows in the right two right two and then 103 it matches with only one in the right table and then perform we add the additional records from the right so this is our right table so the additional rows that are not matching with the left table are 106 and null so those are two so this one will give us three plus two it will give us five so we expect after running our sql query we expect it to perform to, to, to display five number of records or rather number of rows so let's write let's perform the right join so if we perform the if we join the two tables using right join we expect five records to be to be displayed so let's execute this one yeah so you can see there's a five number of records displayed so i think that one is clear so let's now go to full outer join so full outer join will perform the inner join and then we add the additional we add the additional records from the left table which is not present in the right table and we add the additional records from the right table which is not present in the left table so let's perform the inner join so the inner join is the table that are matching in both sides is 101 and 103 so 101 it matches with two two number of records one two 103 it only matches with one number of records so put one and then we 
So we perform the inner join. Now let's perform the the additional records from the left table, which is not present in the right. So this is our our left table. So we'll, we we will count the number of records that are not not matching with the right table. So 101 it matches and 103 it matches with the right table. So we have 102, 104, and 103. They are not matching with any records in the in the right table. So we'll have three records: one, two, and three. And then you add. And then we add um, the number of records from the left from the right table, which is not present in the in the in the left in the left table. So for that case, here the number of records that are not matching with the left table are one of six and null because 101 and 103 they are matching so we've we've gotten them using the inner joint so we have one of six and one of three that are not matching so how many numbers of records not matching with the left table two one on one of six one and null two so if if we do the total we have three plus three six eight so if, if we perform the query, we expect six number of rows to be displayed. So let's perform our query. So this one is full, full join. Full join. So let's execute this one. Yes, yeah, so we've gotten the number of records are eight as we gotten from this uh, formula so now let's proceed to cross join so in question um, what normally does it will match with every record in both two tables in both two tables so for example 101 it will match with all this number of records so 101 it will match with how many one two three four five so we'll have five records and then we add plus and then we come to 102 it will match with how many one two three four five five and then 103 it will match with how many five And then 104, it will match with how many? 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 1, or 4, it will match with how many? 5, also 5, yeah. And then we'll have 105, it will match with also 5, the total of this. So that is 5. So if you add all of these, we're going to get 25 number of records or number of rows will going to be displayed so in short um, what uh, cross join uh, does it is simply uh, multiplying the number of the total number of rows in the right table we multiply it with the number of rows in the in the left table so the total number of rows in our left table is five and the total number of rows in our right table is 5. So we're simply going to write 5 times 5. So this one will just give us the same same results. And if we try to run our query, we expect a total number of 25 records to be displayed. So let's run this one. Let's let's cross join the our two tables. Cross cross join. Cross join. So so let's run this one. join here 
yeah cross join doesn't require this condition so I'll just write select stuff from student you cross join you simply into so if you run this one we will get 25 number of records so if you find this video helpful comment click and share thank you